Hi, beautiful friends. Welcome back. Today we are going to be reviewing the Makeup by Mario foundation, sculpting stick. I got two of those on accident. It's been, a, it's been crazy. And the blushes and the blah. And which is the best way to apply them? Stay tuned and find out. Um, bum, bum. I have heard raving reviews about this. Raving. So I got so many things to try. Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. Mellow Mauve Blush. It's a blush. Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I hope so. I got another contour stick. Did I have an aneurysm? Is this another contour stick? No, it's a blush stick. We're good. And the main bean I wanted to try is the foundation. So essentially we are gonna do a base face of Makeup by Mario on skin that hates everything. Let's get it on. We are back, obviously. And I have prepped and primed the face and I threw my eyebrows on. Really shittily, I might have. I have not put any concealer on. I have not done anything like that because I really want to see the power of this foundation. Is this foundation? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Oh, don't break a nail. Don't break a nail queen. Oh, I love it when they're packaged like this. Alrighty. This is my complexion masterpiece. I put my heart into this ground bait. Baking? Oh, no. Groundbreaking formula with the hope of not creating a barrier of foundation, but rather awakening the true infinite beauty that lies within. <laughs> Let's see if this will help. Okay, I'm going to give it a shake. It doesn't say to, does it? No, but it does say to visit his site for pro tips. I didn't do that. All right. I haven't put any concealer or anything on to conceal this because I want to see the power of this. I think I said that already. Let's dive in. Doesn't smell like anything. We're gonna try with the brush first. Oh, okay. Okay, it had pretty good coverage. I'm gonna see what another layer will do for this. Let's try it out. So this has pretty dewy and it is pretty full coverage. I would say it's more like a medium coverage. Or maybe it's just not bringing out the beauty within. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to see how it applies with a sponge. Please hold. We have our sponge. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is definitely like a very dewy foundation. I'm gonna see how the second layer goes. One more time. Okay, I feel like a dewy goddess. I definitely like it with a sponge more. And yes, the sponge is damp. All right, let's break into one of our shaping sticks. They are the same shade. <laughs> Why did I do that? I do love his packaging. Oh, it's got a brush on it. Oh, you smart little cookie. Does it have anything on this side? <gasps> yes. Let's sculpt one side. So I definitely wish this was like a little smaller. Definitely not used to a big stick it's not about the size it's about the power of it either way let's see how the side blends with the brush okay a little definitely goes a very long way I find that I can swipe with this, which is very nice because some contour sticks, when you swipe it, it takes all the foundation off underneath. I find that this works whether you stipple it or you swipe it, which is really, really nice 
to see. But because the foundation blended better with a wet sponge, I do want to see kind of just what it does. Maybe if this breaks or if something happens, although this is really, this is packaged super nicely, but like this, this I don't like because when you push it, you hit the, you hit the bristles. Here we go. One more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Oh my gosh, I wish this was smaller. Especially because such a little goes such a long way. I feel like my whole face is contoured. Let's get it on. Okay, blends beautifully either way you go about it, which is really freaking nice, just in case. Let me see if I... I didn't get concealer. Son of a monkey's uncle. Do they have concealer? Y'all yeah, gonna have to check after this. Please hold. I'm gonna put on some concealer. I'll be right back. Okay. One, I just used NARS. I feel like that's a fail proof. I don't know. Number two, I did not see concealer on the website. So don't come for me unless they have it. And I'm a little slow and I didn't see it. Still don't come for me. Okay, next we're gonna use the soft blush stick. I'm gonna break a nail. If you're my nail tech watching this, I'm so sorry. I got the stick in dusty. Oh, comes with a brush again. But you see what I'm saying? You see this little, you see this little, you can't see it, but it, it bent. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, queen. I like blush. Let's do this side with the brush. Okay, that is really pretty. Let's do this side with a sponge. I really like the sponge application more. Okay, and then we have a powder blush and a skin perfector. I think we're gonna go in with the skin perfector first. Okay, y'all, I looked this up to see if it was a bronzer to be 100 with you. How in the hell am I supposed to put this on? I'm watching a video. Jamie. Okay, he said it looks darker in the pan than it does on the skin. I was like, damn, I hope so. Woo! My gosh. This seems a little too complicated for me. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Okay. This is what he'd be saying. That you just dip her in. Boop, boop, dip in the product. Start on the perimeter of the face. And then you blend inward. And he said it's buildable. But it's just supposed to perfect. Perfect the skin. We blend inward. Okay, this is really pretty. For some stupid reason, I didn't get bronzer, so we're gonna throw a little bit of that on. I'm gonna lightly go over that with that Skin Perfector. It was a cheap ass bronzer. I ain't gonna lie to you, it was a cheap ass bronzer. So I just feel like it needed a little chef's kiss. And why I didn't get a bronzer from him? Stupid. Mellow Mauve. Let's see what Mellow Mauve does. Okay, this blush literally melts into the skin. Absolutely beautiful. Ends to perfection. I'm very impressed. Okay, let me go in and throw on the rest of the face, some eye makeup, what it is, and then I'll let you know my full thoughts. Okay, rest of the face is on, obviously. Anywho, used, obviously used Makeup by Mario's Master Maps palette. All in all, on the sculpting stick, the blush, the foundation, it does settle into the lines. All in all, though, I think it's a beautiful foundation. I think it works really well on pitted skin, acne-prone skin. I think it's really pretty. I love the blush. Love it. I actually even like this soft sculpt transforming skin perfecter this doesn't mattify you like most setting powders do but it's not called a setting powder you know what i mean it's not called a setting powder definitely wish these had like instructions on them instead of being like oh go to my page that i wish that i wish was a little different but all in all i would definitely recommend this obviously i haven't worn it throughout the day and if that opinion changes 
I will let you know. But I think it's I think it's beautiful. I think it's so glowy. I think it's got beautiful coverage. I did have to use four pumps on each side of my face, so eight pumps at a time. This is what it is. I do wish the sculpting sticks were a bit smaller. Not the blush. That's just a big stick to go in a little area, okay? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it is really pretty. I think it's it works very well. Um, definitely performs in a way that many foundations do not. Um, I very rarely say that I love a foundation. There's only a couple that I really love. This one's really nice. Like, I'll definitely use this again. Oh my gosh, I almost pulled a Jeffree Star and was like, Jules approved. But it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I got for you. I like it. Don't love it. Don't hate it. Oh, I would wear this again. Hope this helped. You guys are wanting to try this product if you're looking at it. It's a good one. Love you guys.